Alright, so the newest Barbie movie comes out in about a week from when this video comes out. And so I'm continuing my quest to catch up on the extensive Barbie lore we've gotten over like 22 years and 42 movies. So far I've done Princess and the Popper and the 12 Dancing Princesses, and in like all the comments and emails I've gotten about this, like so many of you have told me that I have to check out the Barbie Diaries. It'll change my life, apparently, so that's what I'm gonna do. The Barbie Diaries came out in 2006, and this movie is a really big departure from the entire rest of the Barbie canon up to this point. Like every other movie is about Barbie being a princess of some kind, telling like fairy tales, you know, that kind of thing. But Barbie Diaries is just about like, what if Barbie and her friends were demonic eldritch beings? Because <laughs> like, one look at this movie and I mean like, sure, it's 2006 to be fair, but like they really... <laughs> They, they really tried something. I don't know what they were going for, but man, I am so ready for this movie. So come along, kids. Let's take a walk and check out The Barbie Diaries. But before that, really quick, this video was brought to you by Rocket Money. So Rocket Money is like your all-in-one financial manager, whether you're thinking about like buying a house or you just want to reduce your monthly spending, whatever. Rocket Money is here to help you with almost any kind of financial need you might have. Managing all your monthly subscriptions, helping you lower your bills, helping you understand your credit score better, and everything in between. Probably the most immediately useful one for most of you watching this, I would assume, is monthly subscriptions. I mean, these days, you know, there's like 50 different streaming services, Amazon Prime, Walmart Plus, like there's so many, it's kind of impossible to keep track of all of them past a certain point, you know? So Rocket Money has this whole thing dedicated to showing exactly what you're subscribed to, how much you're paying, and they make it super easy and fast to unsubscribe from anything that you see and you're like, oh shoot, I'm still paying for that? And like I said, they also do so much more, like they can help negotiate your bills to try and lower the payment, they can help you track and understand your credit score better, because I mean like, <laughs> good luck trying to figure out that made up nonsense. You know, I paid off my car and then my credit score went down? Yeah, okay, dude, whatever you say. And you don't just have to take my word for it, okay? Rocket Money has over 3.4 million members who are using it to save money and budget their finances. So if this is at all interesting to you, try it out today and you can unlock even more features with a premium membership. So head over to rocketmoney.com slash Alex Myers or click the link down in the video description and check it out today. Okay, back to the show. Wow, this is an impressive band practice. For your information, we rehearsed for like a full 10 minutes. I'd say 10. Easily 10, actually eight if you count the snack run. A full eight minutes. <laughs> so this is Barbie, Tia, Courtney, and the friend zone Freddy of this movie, Kevin. Now today's the last day of summer break until sophomore year of high school starts, but they're able to drive because they're 16, but not sophomores yet. I don't know how that works, but what's it gonna do? <sighs> This is it. When that sun sets, summer is officially over and sophomore year begins. Oh, I'm ready. I have my first 10 outfits picked out. I even numbered my jeans so I wouldn't accidentally wear the same pair twice in a row. Literally, who decided this rule? You know what I mean? Like, I've always heard girls talk about how, like, it's so unfair that no matter how cute the outfit is, I can only wear it one time and then I have to just pack it in the back of my closet forever. No one's making you do this. Like, you're not the main character of the world, okay? No one's gonna care. Anyway, so after talking about all the amazing life-changing things they're gonna do this year, the next day, they drive to school and, and right away we see how the entire campus is just full of the most soulless, empty human husks. <laughs> I mean, the previous Barbie movies had a very particular look to them, but like, what were they going for with this movie, you know? Anyway, so then it's time to start the wackadoo high school shenanigans. Whatever happens, it's a whole new year, and I have a good feeling about it. See? Our luck is changing. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Were you guys going for this spot? How awkward. It's for the back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is what is that face, ma'am? Don't give me that look. Your eyeshadow doesn't even match your skin tone. Okay, get out of here. Were you guys going for this spot? How awkward. It's for the best. You saved her the embarrassment of parking that junk heap where people can actually see it. Uh, you mean the iconic pink Barbie convertible with leopard print seats? The heck are you talking about? What are you even driving right now? This thing looks like it's made out of cardboard. So this is Raquel and her friends, and as you've probably already figured out, they are popular girls. <laughs> And we know this because they're really mean, which is how popular girls are for some reason. And then afterwards, you know, they go on the internet and they're always like, I'm so tired of all this negativity. Us girls need to be lifting each other up. So use my Shein code for 10% off. Hell. Hey. Hey. Long time no see. How was your stuff? Yeah, how nice of her. So anyway, I thought if I wear my hair up, I'll have that studious presidential look. You know, I gotta say, 80% of this movie's budget must have gone to the girl's hair. Cause like, everything else just looks like what you see when you haven't slept in like six days. And then the hair is just insanely detailed, every strand is rendered, like how did this happen? And survive the Jeep rides. <laughs> oh. Oh. But, but Barbie, calm down. Barbie, 
having a crush on Mr. Hot His School Jock Guy is a cliche. And frankly, I think you're better than that. Please, you're saying that Barbie shouldn't crush on the hottest guy in school just because he's the hottest guy in school? The hottest guy in school? This monstrosity? This dude wearing Walmart mom jeans? This is the hottest guy in your school? Really? Man, my parents sent me to the wrong high school. Also, I love how the girl's hair is rendered and animated so meticulously. And then like with the dudes, they just like didn't even try. <laughs> Like, like, what is this? Every guy in this movie has hair like Sid from Toy Story. But anyway, so this is Todd, the hottest guy in school, TM. And Barbie has had a big old crush on him since literally forever ago, which actually just means like eighth grade, but whatever. However, there is one big problem. I think you just smiled at me. Shh, here he comes. Hey, Barbie. Hey, babe. Oh, he's dating Raquel? Of course he is! It's because she had that mental breakdown over the summer and gave herself bangs, I tell you what. And if that wasn't bad enough, okay, so Barbie's dream for this year is to be like the head anchor of the school news TV channel. But when she goes in to ask the teacher guy about it, guess what happens? Mr. Wexler, I want to talk to you about Shh. some- Sure, test scores are up, fitness levels are at an all-time low. Oh I wasn't ready for sad. that. You want real news? How about this? Jet fuel can't melt steel beams? That's right, not only did Raquel totally steal Todd away from Barbie, cause you know, he totally would be dating her right now otherwise, okay? But also, she took Barbie's anchor position? Is there no end to her tyranny? We could really use you around the station this year. Really? Raquel's gonna need a top-notch assistant. Can I count on you? You said yes? It's a stepping stone. It's just... those words. Can I count on you? <laughs> What? Wait, what? What was that? What? You, you, you all saw that too, right? Can I count on you? <laughs> what was that? What was that? This, this is the greatest movie ever made. So yeah, the school year has just started, literally day one, okay? And all of Barbie's dreams have just been crushed into nothing. I can't believe I chickened out. I just saw Raquel there, all perfect, and I froze. Something's wrong with me. I'm, I'm like terrified of taking risks. Come on, that's not true. Remember that time you wore your pajamas to the Waffle House on a dare? <laughs> that was really thrilling. I mean, real talk, that's kind of overdressed for Waffle House. Anyway, so sometime later, I think it's like the next day, maybe, or six months from now, who knows. But at some point later in time, Barbie gets some very interesting news. What's up? Hey, check it out. I was shooting cheerleader practice, and look what wandered into my shot. We don't have to be together every second. There are millions of guys who would want to spend every second. Raquel, so over it. Oh my goodness, Barbie, this is your chance. Those mom jeans could be yours. So she carpe diems her way over to Todd in his time of need. Oh, Todd. Huh? Oh, hey, Barbie. Oh, uh, you're blocking my locker. I heard about Raquel dumping you. I mean, about your breakup. Barbie, thanks. You're the first person to make me laugh all day. Yeah, sure, no problem, Mr. Hot Guy Voice. And right after this, we see Barbie and Todd walking together, and now they're sitting alone on the bleachers? Man, Barbie is ruthless. This dude broke up his girlfriend like eight seconds ago, and Barbie's like, wow, don't mind if I do. And so, what do you know? Just like that, the hottest dude in school who definitely cuts his own hair. Okay, let's be real here. Todd himself has the hots for Barbie. My water? Until Todd were over, I have no desire to see him. I'm sorry, Todd, but Her Majesty doesn't want to see you. Good. I came to see you. Play <laughs> champion. We just dominate these guys. So Todd asked Barbie to go to the spring formal, and of course, you know, she means to say yes, but like any girl in this situation, all that comes out is... Now, of course, this means that Barbie and her friends have to go buy some new dresses, but what do you know? Raquel's there at the store with her friends, and things take a bit of a turn, as they always do. Todd, hey, that's so funny you called. I just picked out my dress. I can't wait for you to... Oh, N no, no, I totally understand. It's just a dance, right? Was that Todd? I told him he needed to talk to you ASAP. Todd and Raquel got back together. All right, ladies, when do we murder Todd? Now, the lady working at the store sees this, and she talks about how, like, she sees a lot of herself in these girls, so she gifts them a free charm bracelet they can pick out of this box thing. But there's a little twist. I've been exactly where you are. To me, that makes us sisters. So pick your bracelet. Excellent choice. That one comes with a diary. One of the charms is a key that opens the book. Just wave it over the lock. That's really nice of you. Great. I'll keep this on hold for you in case you change your mind. Okay, but like, what about the other girls? Barbie gets a free diary, they don't get nothing? Nice choice, Barbie. That one comes with a free diary. Wow, what about this one? Oh, that one comes with a chainsaw. 
Now after being dumped by Todd, Barbie feels like she's being laughed at by everyone in school and she just wants to fade into the background and not stand out, you know, contrary to the message of every tween movie ever made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I thought this movie was scary before. I had no idea. Before anyone comes to me complaining the test was impossible, someone managed to get a 97. No, not today. Congratulations, Barbie. Way to throw off the curve, Barbie. I'm starting to think this might actually be a psychological horror movie, okay? I mean, look at this. Anyway, so Barbie lost Todd, and now she doesn't have a date to the dance, but she has this idea. If her band can play at the spring formal, then surely Todd will see how cool she is, and she'll definitely get the spot as the new school news anchor, and Raquel's totally gonna get hit by a car, and then everything's gonna be great, you know what I'm saying? Come on, you said yourself you wanted to kick butt as a drummer this year. Okay, but if we're gonna do this, we have to do it right. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet girl hug. I so picked the right time to come in. Girl hug with Kevin? No? <laughs> oh no. No! Did he just... Did he just where's my hug these girls? Now one thing about this movie that struck me is like it has so many story threads that are kind of related but like not really. Like Barbie wants to get with Todd, right? And she's practicing with her friends to play the dance. Also, she's engineering these like secret spy beauty products like lip gloss that looks like a highlighter or blush that looks like a cell phone or whatever. She also starts getting secret love letters from a mysterious someone who keeps putting them in her locker. And also she has this idea to do some investigative journalism about the popular girls in school. <gasps> Kevin, you're brilliant. That's news. That's real. Okay, you lost me. But I like the part about me being brilliant. Who in this school wouldn't be hooked by finding out what makes the populars popular? You know, I've always wondered this myself, but like, after doing YouTube for so many years, I feel like it's kind of the same, where it's like, people are just kind of designated as popular, and like, literally no one knows why sometimes. The hottest guy or girl in school are usually not even that hot, really, but like, someone just decided they are, and then everyone just runs with it. Maybe you should do the story and find out. I can't wait. I want this piece to be completely eye-opening, you know? Something that's never been on the show before. That is, assuming it gets on the show. Are you kidding? You crack the secret of popularity, Wexler will be all over you. What? But yeah, so for a movie that's like 70 minutes long, they're trying to pack in like four different movies worth of storyline. It's actually kind of impressive in its own way. But mainly the movie's about Barbie trying to like get in with Raquel's friends for her story and also practice for the school dance. That was actually not bad. Uh, I totally wharfed the bridge. What's wharfed? A combination of wreck and morph. Kevin made it up. How about we stop the etymology lesson and practice? What's etymology? The study of the history of words. I give up. Snack break. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, snack? That's your snack? What is that? Is this girl just like eating a raw potato right now? Now, long story short, Barbie gets in with the cool girls and starts ditching her friends to hang out with them. And also, since the currency of popularity in high school is like gossip, you know, she starts telling some secret information to these girls about her old friends. I have a friend who numbers her jeans, so she won't accidentally wear the same pair twice in a row. No way! Who? Yeah, it's Tia. Oh, wait a minute. If she wore jeans on one day, shouldn't they be in the wash the next day? Well, I mean... Oh my gosh, she totally doesn't wash her clothes. You know, high school rumors are so dumb. Like, someone doesn't want to wear the same jeans twice in a row, and somehow that turns into, OMG, she totally never washes her clothes, like, ever. And suddenly, next thing you know, the whole school thinks that you write fanfic about every sailor scout falling in love with you at the same time, which was true, but, like, how do they all find out about it? Now, what ends up happening is Raquel's friends find out what Barbie's up to, and how she's using them to, like, write a story about how evil and sinister popular the girls are. And as you might imagine, those girls don't really appreciate it when they find out. You guys, thanks for being so patient. I know it couldn't have been easy, but you are a vicious, evil, horrible human being. Reagan, we thought you were our friend. You wanted to show the world how terrible populars are for pretending to be friends with people when all they really want to do is gather dirt. Why does that sound familiar? And so they get back with Raquel and conspire to ruin Barbie's life by stealing her charm bracelet. <laughs> Yeah, okay, straight to the guillotine, every last one of you. So this makes Barbie kind of freak out a little bit, though, because she's convinced that the diary is magic, and the reason her band got accepted to play in the dance, or the reason she's been getting all these, like, ideas and her plans are all working out, it's because she's been writing them in the diary. So really, this movie's just kind of about, like, a Barbie death note. I mean, the diary even gets Todd to break up with Raquel again and ask Barbie to the dance again, okay? Like, what further proof do you need? Hey, um, do you have a sec? Sure. It's about the formal. 
Oh my goodness, he's sitting in the chair backwards? Never mind, I take back everything I said earlier. This dude has to be the hottest guy in school, okay? I mean, you see the way he turned that chair around like that? <laughs> Checkmate, nerds. But Barbie can only open the magic diary with the magic bracelet, which is now gone. So what is she gonna do? That was old Barbie, just doing what everybody expected of her. But tonight, to perform in front of everyone, I need the bracelet. <laughs> okay, you know, I was on Team Todd for a second, but making a bracelet out of a guitar string? Man, no wonder I was single all through high school. I did everything so wrong. Now, at the very end of the movie, it's time for Barbie's big expose about popular girls, but she decides that exposing their secrets to the school in the same way that, like, they do to other girls would just be perpetuating the cycle of whatever it is teen girls are hoping to accomplish by doing all this. The popular kids. To learn firsthand, I did an in-depth report on the ins and outs of popularity, which I'm not going to show. <laughs> It doesn't matter what the popular people say or think or do. It doesn't matter how many people in school know who you are. It only matters that you know who you are. And then their band plays at the school dance and it's all very Lizzie McGuire. Just to set the record straight, I do wash my clothes. And after playing like one song, Barbie goes to slow dance with Todd and tells him that she knows about the secret love notes that he's been writing her throughout the movie. Listen, I wanted to talk to you. I really appreciate all the notes you left in my locker, but... What notes? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, come on, Barbie. You think I wrote those? I can't even count past ten with my shoes on. And that's when I realized... In the library... In the cafeteria... Everywhere... There was a guy out there who really got me for me. Oh, what's that? It was Kevin the whole time? You mean her best guy friend has actually been in love with her for years now, and every time they hung out, he's actually been kind of lying to her because she thought it was just a friend hangout, but actually it never was, ever? And he's just been biding his time until she was emotionally vulnerable enough to maybe give him a chance? Wow, what a great guy. However, he did make a bracelet out of a guitar string, so like, I mean, come on, what's she supposed to do, say no? But yeah, so Barbie just dumps Todd right there at the dance, who did nothing wrong, by the way, and starts dating Kevin, the weird kid, you know, because turns out the guy she's really been looking for was there beside her the whole time. <laughs> and that's pretty much the end of the movie. So jokes aside, I actually think this movie really isn't that bad. Like in terms of story and characters, like it's a weirdly competent, like mean girls, she's all that, she gets what she wants, like those kinds of movies. It's actually a pretty okay one of those. The main difference of course is that all the characters look like when people try to use AI to like make a video and it's just the most horrifying nightmare thing you've ever seen. This movie is terrifying in the best way. Okay, Roald Dahl and Tim Burton have nothing on this movie. <laughs> this movie's an experience. So I've watched three Barbie movies so far, and it really like makes me wonder because like Barbie is one of the best selling, like highest profit generating anything in the world, right? And all their movies until pretty recently were just like, they all look like this. How did this happen? But anyway, let me know in the comments which Barbie movie you think I should check out next. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please watch another one because that's how the algorithm works. So click on this one that's being recommended to you right now, right here on the screen. It actually helps a lot if you do that because like that's how YouTube knows that my videos are worth caring about. Also, if you have any movies or TV shows you'd like to recommend, send me an email at alexmyerscontact at gmail.com and I'll put them on my absurdly long list of movies that I need to get to at some point. Anyway, hope I made your day a little bit better and I'll see you all next time.